Oh boy, another update video. I posted a Bantamweight video discussing the three people that I think are next in line for the Bantamweight title according to Dana White. I said in that video, I think, and I posted in that video, I think Cody Garbrandt had a 30% chance of fighting Petr Jan for the Bantamweight world title just on the fact that Cody Garbrandt's a former champion and the story sells. But... It's been brought to my attention and it's been brought to the front of the MMA news cycle for these weight divisions that there is a better option for Cody Garbrandt. And even I, I didn't even think of this. Now, I said in my other video, it's, it kind of aligns with both videos I've just released with the recap from UFC Fight Island where Davison Figueredo def defeated Joseph Benavidez to win the vacant flyweight strap. They both correlate. They both co-align in this story. Cody Garbrandt is being discussed by MMA pundits and MMA media in different places to go down instead of fight at 135 to go down to 125 and step in to a flyweight world title fight because Brandon Marino and Askar Askarov are so closely matched and in such close contention that you can throw those two guys into the octagon together to determine a number one contender while putting in there Davison Figueredo and Cody Garbrandt. Now, I like to match up on this sense. Okay, first things first, we got to make sure Cody Garbrandt can make the weight. He said he can make the weight. That's what we're going off of right now. If we want to throw him in there to give him a test run at 125, where we throw him right in there with Davis and Figueroa, I would be cheering for the flyweight champion to pick up that win. And why do I support this idea? It seems stupid of me who likes competition, who likes to put the right guys in there, the contenders in their own divisions in there with champions. But with this division in specific... This division who's had discussions of getting rid of it, even though I've never believed in any of it, I've never seen much of it, but even with this division, you need that injection of life, you need a champion who's respectable, who gets a big fight, where we can bring Davison Figueroa to the front of the news cycle as a villain, so that when he goes on to defend against some of these better known, these not known flyweights, you can still sell pay-per-views with them, and what injection would be better? Then a former world champion, one of the best-selling bantamweights in the UFC, Cody Garbrandt, one of the knockout, one of the scariest knockout artists in the UFC bantamweight division, one of the scariest knockout artists pound for pound in Cody Garbrandt. You could put him in there with the killer that is Davis and Figueroa, and if Figueroa is able to pick up that win, he gets that double champ status. Now again, you're putting the division on this line here because Cody Garbrandt could likely win the title and go back to Bantamweight, vacate that title, go with the champ champ thing, and start looking for bigger fights at Bantamweight or in other divisions. But if Davison wins, he adds a former champion under the belt, which Demetrius Johnson never did. He adds a Bantamweight to under his belt, which Demetrius Johnson never was able to accomplish. And you're just furthering the all-time legacy of Davis and Figueroa without having him go to bantamweight and leaving the flyweight title behind and these flyweights behind. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm on the side of Marino versus Askarov, Garbrandt versus Figueroa. Same card, do it. And then you set up two matchups, which are amazing. And then you got some flyweights at the top of that division, which are going to put on great fights. Like, if you put these on pay-per-view, you're going to get fucking amazing fights. So, I'm really excited for this flyweight division, and I've liked this idea. I'm so surprised I'm actually on board with this idea. But I want to know what you guys think in that comment section below. Do you think Cody Garbrandt is a good idea to bring to flyweight, sell some pay-per-views, and... Hopefully feed him to the champion, the God of War. Feed him to the God of War, Davis and Figueroa. But that'll do it for today's video, guys. Make sure you smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn notifications on. But again, peace out, guys.